Well, hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to program STM32F407 board of the STM company using MATLAB Simulink. Actually, we will not be coding it. We will create the model which will convert into the code and download it. And that's the beauty of the procedure. So, I have created simple example. What we have here, analog signal coming to pin number 3 is being converted to digital by the analog to digital converter, is being scaled, and in this simple program what I want to do with the signal, I will divide it by 3 and will pass it to the output with the 7 seconds delay and uh, it will be going to pin number 5 and it will be being converted to analog signal by the digital to analog converter so why is it 7 seconds delay? because if we go to model configuration parameters we will see that we have fixed step size of the modeling is 0 0.1 seconds so that's why it will be 7 seconds delay. Now, what we need to do is to build this model and convert it into the code. So we click on the build model button. You can see in the background that the code is being created. And in, the, in this window we can see the stages of this procedure. Okay, so now the code has been created, but there was an error of connecting to the target. But that's okay, all we need is code. We will connect by ourselves. So I will be using this cool program, which you can download from the STM uh, website. It's called STM32 ST Link Utility. So after connecting our board to the PC, we can connect to the target. So now as we connect it to the board, we can fully erase chip from the previous program. OK, and now by left clicking this button, we can select the uh, program code which has been created during our previous procedure and you can find it in the same folder as your MATLAB, as your MATLAB folder which uh, have inside your MATLAB project. So, we open our program code and we will download it to the board. So now, if you see this verification OK string, 
that means that your program is already there. So this is my board which is connected to the PC by the means of the USB cable. Also I will be using a digital multimeter and a power source and a set of cables. So first things first I need to connect to my pins which I uh, had used in the program. So pin number three Pin number five and two ground pins. Now okay. I will check the parameters of the signal coming from the my power source. So the signal is uh, three volts. Now everything is settled. I will turn on the, my power source and by this I will give a signal to the pin number 3, the input signal, and after the time delay I will receive one third of the input signal, it will be one volt over here. So it's approximately one volt now. Uh, as you can see uh, we have been observing the time delay and the division of the input signal. So the test drive has been successful. This uh, was uh, only a simple example of what you can do with uh, this uh, technology. Actually you can now implement uh, much more uh, interesting stuff, for example realization of your Object object models on the using this board realization of uh, pit controllers uh, Also some for example some filtering of the signals and so on and so forth So this opens huge possibilities And the limitations only your imagination so I hope this has been useful for you guys if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And uh, that's it for today.